Hey guys, Nolar here, back for the 5-9 Mobile channel. Um, and today we're looking at Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Dai, A Hero's Bond. And uh, I'm not alone, I'm joined by the man himself, Hydros. Say hello. Yo, what's going on everybody? How you guys doing? Dude, uh, the, the name itself is just a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the abbreviation is DQ Dai, A Hero's Bond. So if you want to go that route. <laughs> Okay, sure, sure. Take all, take all my stuff. Play without signing in. I'm good. I'm good. I don't know if I'm gonna be playing this long. Now, um, you played the beta, right, Hydros? Uh, br briefly, yeah. I, I did play it a, a slight bit. Okay. So give give a a quick uh, overview of what the game is. Get you know, the franchise a little bit, all that kind of stuff. Well. I'm new to Dragon Quest <laughs> overall. Okay. Like uh, I, I just this game itself is based around the the newer anime uh, Dragon Quest Die, right? So a, it came out in 2020. It's based around that one, actually still ongoing still. Uh, so it's basically based around that specific anime, not the older one. Um, but in this game, you're pretty much it's kind of like a temple runner game. Uh, okay. But you know you're doing all the action base. You have like a team of uh, people going in with you from the you know different characters. Like you have Dai himself, uh, Ma'am, uh, who's the pink hair girl on the layout that you see here, uh, and then uh, basically just Temple Runner. You it's a gear gotcha. You're summoning for weapons, uh, gear like you know chest pieces leg pieces. armor pieces okay all right armor yeah and what wasn't in the beta is now in the full version is a soul kind of gotcha it's kind of like um it's kind of like gear but but it's not really it's like uh it's like boost for your characters to where you have like three slots and it gives you like physical damage buffs of like 10 percent three percent whatever oh uh, okay okay so so it. okay i see what you're saying um yeah. Kind of like uh, I'm trying to think what's a good analogy. But basically, like the equip system in, in Dokkan, right? Is what is essentially what I'm thinking of. Um, kind of, yeah, yeah. So the, the you can roll it. You don't use like the only currency that you really use to do that is just gold, which you get as just playing the game, right? So uh, it's not really like using something like grand cross where you're spending items upon or like you know and right. and stuff to re-roll these types of things uh you do get like points to do it but you get those as you use them and such so you're not really like farming so you do farm but you don't really at the same time it's not like it's a currency you're paying for or can pay for that's pretty okay. much what that is it's like they're called soul crystals i believe is what they're called okay but yeah usually they have like one star, three star, goes up to uh, two star, three star, and four star. And they do have a separate gotcha for that. That's the the newer-ish thing. Uh, they have mana boards similar to Dokkan's potential system. You, uh, you can okay. you know, fill out the potential system. It is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, level-based. So after you pass a certain level of your character, you unlock like the next portion of the board instead of just being it all available to you at once. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you have like your two abilities down at the bottom. Uh, it's little dots in the corners on the top of the left of them it gives you how many times you can use them. Like you, like that one for like both of them for instance have one available. Okay. So you can use them once. Uh, some some of them have twi have two of them. Some of them can have up to three. Uh, you can uh, have up to two people running with you at the same time, like two people like two extra characters, and then you have a partner character that you actually can swap your main character in and out for so you have the character like you're playing now would have like a, a swappable character with him and the other two are cpu based controlled uh but you can then control when they use their ultimate abilities and stuff like that oh should have it's, dodged a, it's a pretty that. neat way they, they went about doing this in terms of gameplay functionality in the temple yeah. runner design <laughs> it's interesting yeah, the way you have to like defi just like figure out when the boss is gonna like do those short base attacks, long base attacks. Uh, you hold, you can hold down to guard and, and such if they're doing like a, an unavoidable type of attack. Right. Yep. So and it's it, so it's a mix of like the Temple Runner um, 
but it's kind of action based in that regard because you you have to be um nimble you know and see like oh i react to what's happening and make good decisions based on that so it's different than like a turn based one where they just go they clear a wave go to the next wave this is interesting in its uh, presentation it's a little different so that's kind of cool yeah well there are waves like there's like one or two or three waves depending on the stage uh you face like enemies in a certain wave and depending on like how fast you clear it there's like clear times like ss rank s rank a rank so on and so forth right like normal kind of like what arcadey games would do uh, if you did a certain score or something clear it at a certain speed so there is that the game is also pretty generous with gems so i mean <laughs> if you're looking for a nice easy free to play game this one's pretty pretty free to play starting out right now all right well that's good um is there any numbers? I don't think we have any numbers of how successful the, the launch has been so far, right? Uh, well, no numbers right now, but the servers did crash. Uh, it did launch uh, about a day ago at the time of recording this video. But after, because it was like at, like I think it was 12 a.m. my time in the Eastern time. And then once mm -hmm. everybody started waking up, the server started going, like, it started going hectic and crashing. So... That's how many people are playing it. Either they didn't just prepare for it good enough, or they didn't think that that many people would play. Mm. I think Dragon Quest is a it's a fairly popular IP, at least in Japan it is, because this was yeah. a mobile and JP simultaneous release. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see. Boss breaks, okay, so break points. Yeah, when you break them, you get a, you get a little bit more damage to them. Yep. So then, uh, it doesn't last too, too long, but if you get them, like, in a break, you can actually, like, break, like, shove them through those rocks behind them. <laughs> it was always fun. Yeah, and if you swipe up when that, when the, when you see, like, the little diamond appear when he's broken and, like, knocked back, if you swipe up, you just rush up to him, like, you'll speed up. Oh, speed, okay, speed okay. Uh, so with, with animation wise there are basic ones that one was uh i think that was one of i think that was his special I, yeah i think that might have been yeah avon slash uh so with weapons if you get their four star weapon you get their special like animation otherwise it's kind of like short and cut off looking uh mm, so when okay. you're having, like when you're not using their weapon or their attack but the, the reason for summoning for weapons would be for their animation right I thought the an the animation overall of this game just looks really good starting out right now. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. And I, I you know, the one thing about I'm kind of weird like this, and uh, Brad is like this too. Uh, I prefer phone games that are uh, portrait more than landscape. Um, I am which is weird. <laughs> it, yeah, I don't know why, but it's because it's easier to do it with one hand versus like you have to hold it with two, and it's like okay, no. MHA Ultra Impact. Much as I love the game, I hate that it's <laughs> I hate that it's horizontal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, the thing to me is like usually if it's horizontal, then I want to play it on a bigger device like a tablet or on an emulator on my on my mm. PC, right? Um, yeah. And at that point, it's Just like a, note, it's no different than a real emulators. thing. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So, so for everyone out there, this doesn't run well, emulators. There you go. Well, it's from the same developer as Ma as Pokemon Masters, Dina. So they, they yeah. never like emulators. <laughs> Yeah. Dina has an interesting history with gotchas, say that much. Yeah, the most thing that I was worried about was this game's stamina system going into it. Like, I know Masters is, they, they added a stamina system to that, and there's just not good. Uh, but I thought that maybe they wouldn't have, like, a, a refillable stamina. Thankfully, it actually is a refillable. You can refill it with gems. They have stamina items. You can okay. refill it by watching ads. Yes, they did put that kind of stuff in the game. Uh, it's only you watch two ads, you get like ten stamina or something like that. I don't remember how much. I, I never, I didn't actually do any. <laughs> Usually, well, you get I'll, enough stamina. Up I'll tell you how potion. I know. You know, I knew that was gonna happen because this is a Square Enix published game. All Square Enix published mobile games have um, advertisements in them. That's very. That's just the one thing I know. Okay. Um, so you yeah, look at the publishers. Well, yep. one of the summon systems, not not the not the gotcha banners like for weapons, but there is like a like an item banner that they have that you just watch like like an ad and give you like a free item, like you get skip tickets and stuff from it. You don't you can't spend currency on it, so that's I guess that makes sense. 
Okay, cool. But you get like one free pull a day or one free single thing a day. It's not a multi, it's a single that you do on these freebie item banners. I don't see the point in it really, but hey, it's there. If you like items, you get a free one every day. Yeah. Okay, so we broke him. All right, kind of cool. Yeah, so the characters also have a leveling system. Everything has a leveling system. There's levels to the the soul crystals. There's leveling to the items, such as like the armor and stuff, and the gear. And there's leveling to your characters. <laughs> you can't right. level your characters except by playing, which is oh, fine. I mean, that's no, no biggie. Uh, but the the main you can't. There are items for leveling up, like your weapons and your souls. There are items that you farm like uh, like ores and stuff that you do level up those with but characters themselves don't have any like items to level them up there are there is a stage like a special stage you know like a we yep. got farming stage, stage. Yep. That, yep. Will, that will get you there uh, but those specific stages like the exp stage the gold stage and then there's also stages for farm uh, for like mega farming uh, the potential system items they're locked behind like ticket based stamina not actual oh. stamina oh okay so it's got its own and currency you get one that. free per day yeah, yeah you yeah. get like one free per day and then on first completion after you do, like as you go up in like the difficulty you get a you get a ticket back so that way you can keep going up and up in difficulty which is not bad i prefer that i'm glad that you don't have to just waste a ticket and then wait the next day and do it again right 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 um but I would have preferred maybe I uh, to wait. Let me waste my stamina, stamina on that. It's still new. We'll see how how it turns out. But uh, right yeah, now, they I got time I could, to adapt. Could do that. Yeah, they got yeah, time to I don't adapt. Know if you can, I don't know if there'll be like more opportunities to get those tickets because there's not too many right now. I guess aside from missions. Yep. Interesting. Only speaking of missions, they have the beginner missions up. There's actually three pages to the beginner missions and each page is 3,000 gems that's three full multis log into okay. the game right now since the game did launch you get 6,000 gems for free so that's two multis on reroll if you are going to reroll for any specific uh, four star weapons out there you don't unlock the, the soul crystal gotcha until later on after you're doing stuff so the first gotcha that you're going to be introduced to is the is the gear gotcha basically yeah, I'm like you. I don't know anything about this stuff. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about Dragon Quest aside from the anime that I've watched. I've, I played another uh, Dragon Quest mobile game, Dragon Quest Tact. Uh, they have a JPN okay. global separated version like Dokkan that are like a little bit behind each other for the global. Uh, that game is fun. Uh, it's more of like a, a grid-based type game where you're like moving along a grid for your characters to attack the enemies and stuff. Okay, so uh, strategy uh, RPG. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that game's fun. I, I don't. I think I prefer the play style just because it's. I don't know if I. I guess I do. I think I prefer Die if I had to pick one, just because it's maybe a little more fast-paced. Oh yeah, you do get a create. A, you can create your own little character right in the beginning. This character is going to be your main character throughout the entire game. You cannot take this character off a team, unfortunately. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, you have to play with like your. I guess I guess it is I get quote unquote create a character. It's not like a ton of options, but you can customize it how you want to. Hair, a little bit of eyes, skin tone, voices, hair, and stuff like that. Uh, the thing with create a characters is when you equip specific gear to them. The outfit actually changes. Doesn't do that for the other characters, only this guy. But that's still neat. That's kind of cool. It is like a creative character, as I said. So, so it's basically, it's just character. like a regular RPG where you make your own character. You are part of the world. So this is me being in yeah. fused into Dragon Quest, die, right? Yeah, and when I mentioned like the, the partner on your team, your main character is like the frontal character, and then you have the partner that you can swap in between those two characters. Like you can have like uh, right. like Dai as your secondary character on that on your main. You can have a healer as your other one. Um, the abilities of characters as well. Oh yeah, that's the treasure hunt gotcha little item one that you can do for free. Some animation is pretty cool too. That's pretty cool. It's like a yeah. Oh. I have Ooh, gotten fake outs. There are fake outs in this game. Ooh, you got a four star. 
Well, that's Lightning. that's a guarantee. That's like that's literally for your your created character. Oh, okay, so you get okay. a special ability for your created character because it was a four star weapon. That's like her special. But another thing with creative characters is not only does like the gear change the appearance, but when you summon other four star weapons, like say I summon Dai's four star weapon, and you also get Dai's ability, you can equip Dai's a custom animation ability to your creative character, and it will do that animation. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like a learning well, the skill system. Really yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get uh, roughly 300, 400 gems on login, almost four, almost 400, and then you get the 6,000 in your present box. So right there, 3,000 for pre-registration, and what was it, 3,000 for 1.5 million registrants? Yeah, so treasure hunt is the, the summon system. This is the weapon system here. Okay. You have to scroll at that little yeah. know, top banner. Yeah, top bar banner. Yeah, so I think that's like, I think that you buy like a paid ticket to get I think a four yeah. star weapon guaranteed. Um, and this is the yeah, you won't watch see, the you ad. Won't see the okay. One. Yeah, that's the, the watch the ad. But yes, yeah, so if you scroll one more over, you get one free per day. Doesn't cost any currency. You can't summon on it after the fact, so you do get so just one. just free. Something. That's good. Yeah. You can get lucky. You can get gold. You can get gold is something. If you're not there is a pack for I think four dollars that gives you like a hundred thousand gold. <laughs> If you have four bucks laying around, I would recommend buying it because gold is very scarce right now, just starting out. But again, there is a gold stage where you can get a lot of it from as you're going. So, so treasure points. This looks like a, the, this looks like the pity. Yeah, that looks like the pity. The rates. It's a three percent rates for a four star, and there is rate okay. up for the feature too, uh, at point five. Got it. Yep, double or uh, rate up, I should say. Okay. Well, we've got six thousand gems. Well, why don't we just go win? Yeah, I mean die. I mean die is a good one to go for, uh, and then uh, the Avon Avon's weapon is really good. Uh, okay, uh, if you get the metal slime, that is a guaranteed four star. But you can still get a fake out here because I, I hate it because oh you did get a four. You can still yep. also get a fake out too. I I did a summon and I got two fake outs for the same four star chest piece. <laughs> okay, hey, chest well. Piece. Yeah, so there are four star like chess pieces along with weapons and, and stuff. Only the the weapons give you the animations though. Mm -hmm. And then you can also get those like little that scroll at the bottom you saw. Yep. It's like uh, it's points for your abilities themselves that you can level them up. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, no, <laughs> no guaranteed four, but there's. Potential fake out. Potential. Yeah, this is this game's not too hard to re-roll in because they do let you log in as guest and then you can go into the settings and just clear data right from the actual settings of the game. Well, okay, let's see. If I were to do that, um, uh, the, the triple bar at the bottom right. Yeah, scroll down, and then it would be manage, manage account. account. And then erase game data. I'm not going to erase it now because um, I want to play a little. But, uh, yeah, so that, I mean, like uh, Hydro said, it's not too difficult to go in and re-roll. So if you are looking for, you know, specific things, that's what you would do. All right. Uh, nope. Not, they not ask you to that. write a review right as you start the game. It's like, well, let me play first. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, of course, the this is the beginner mission easy. boards. Yep. All right, well, let's uh, do the story. Yeah, the story, you're going to be bouncing around from Dragon Tracks and Bonding Journey. You kind of bounce around because, like, in order to progress in one, you then you have to go. I guess this is just really kind of wanting you to, in, like, in, like engulf yourself into the story, I guess. But you're going to, like, if you get to Chapter 1 of here and you get to Stage 5, it then locks it, but you have to go down over to, to the other one and complete those stages. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, I'm not familiar with the Dragon Quest IP, and you aren't either. So, um, if I were to play this consistently, I would be watching and reading the story. Um, I will say, the anime that this game is based off, the, the newer anime, its animation has not lacked at all. Like, they're consistent in their animation and it looks really good. Mm, okay. Maybe I gotta go check out the anime it's on, then. It's on Crunchyroll. It's on Hulu, but I don't think Hulu is entirely caught up yet it's not 
dubbed as far as I'm aware, but okay. it is subbed. Uh, just like the game is, is subbed, it's not... They have voice acting in the game, actually, but uh, there's no dub voices. Yep, yep. All right. Let's see how this temple run is uh, with all my uh, fancy new equipment. Are you... <laughs> Well, you have to equip your equipment, by the way. <laughs> oh, that is true. Yeah, that is well, very true. I completely forgot about that. After that. Yeah, yeah, but the, you do get. Uh, so, if anyone's ever played the Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, this game is similar to that in terms of being a weapon gotcha, but it's also similar in the fact that you unlock characters as you just play the game. That's how you get characters. You just play. Mm, okay. Um, obviously, it only goes up to right now, chapter four of the main story. But there are quite a bit of characters that you can get, but there are plenty of potential characters that they can add. Like, they could add characters, especially from all the Dragon Quest games, like Dragon Quest 7, 8, 11, 1, 2, yep. 3, 4, 5, etc., right? So, this is where we get um, mm -hmm. Dai, and then who's the other guy? I can't remember his name. <laughs> his name Pop. always... Oh, Pop. <laughs> I don't know how his name eludes me. It's the most simple. <laughs> uh, okay, think, so think of soda pop. Soda pop, yeah. Uh, p -p 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 upgrade uh, manage. Change equipment. Well, no. If you go to the middle one, altered altar, to alter, uh, there's change equipment right next to. Story. Oh, I see. It, I see it. Right. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, your main character. It says, well, you, that's where you do your gear, and then you can also tap on like the the abilities down there, and you can change the abilities and swap them out. The oh, I see. Okay. Wanted to. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you could literally just auto it. <laughs> yeah, wow. So that's... weapons, as you get duplicates, they do unlock. Like as you get duplicates, you feed them into dupes, and then the weapons will then unlock like a higher level cap, pretty much. So it gives you Got a lot it. more. With the way the gotcha is, I don't know what's more beneficial right now because the weapons, you know, you do get weapons as you play, but the souls. I think may be a little more beneficial because you get those like rerolled boosts, right? So if you get like a triple increased physical damage by 10%, that's like 30% damage versus like a weapon giving you a flat number. Right. So I don't know. I don't know what would be more beneficial. I guess it really just depends on what's available. And there is an auto button. You want, oh, you get that. I can't remember what chapter you get that on. But does have auto. There's no times two speed. I, I would love to see times two speed eventually come to the game or something. Right. Yeah, Got it. So it. that's how I swap characters. Yep. Oh. I think okay. the auto is is kind of dumb. Yeah. You have to swap over. Yeah. Like I said, the auto. It feels like the auto can be really stupid sometimes. So it feels like I just have to take over. It's not terrible, but. At times well, it it's not conducive to farming, right? So if if this game is all about farming, then that's the whole unfortunate part of terrible our auto, right? Well, in terms of farming, right now you can't get a lot of it, but there are skip tickets. Okay. So you can you can skip in this game. Again, there's not a lot of them. At least I haven't gotten a lot of them. You do get a you get some here and there. Sometimes you get them from completion of levels. Sometimes, I think I've, when farming, I think I have gotten a skip ticket back. So it kind of reminds me of Ultra Impact, where you can farm skip tickets, so to speak. Yep, yep. Um, but they're not they're not as easy as a drop rate, if I recall. So they're not, like, super common. Got it, got it. Okay. I, I've been trying to, like, save mine, and I've only have, I only have four. <laughs> I wish I knew the significance because maybe I didn't just see it. Maybe I just didn't think of it while watching the anime. Is the purple ring behind him? I guess that means corruption, but like a, like someone's controlling it or something. Oh, I see, I, I see, I see. So they're I didn't controlled. Pay something. To figure out what that was. Because <laughs> when you kill, when you not, I guess when you kill them or whatever, that thing like it disappears. Mm. Animations are fantastic. That's that much I will say. The creator character animation is still pretty good, especially for uh, a free one. Boom. 
I will say this is pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Um, because it, it is like a semi auto in the sense that you don't have to tap for auto attacks, but you have to, you know, pay attention to the game and watch out for, you know, dodging, shielding, um, all that kind of stuff. So that, that is pretty cool. I will say zero sex record. Yeah. Uh, okay. You completed that in zero seconds? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that's what it said, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's still bugged. I don't Bro, know. Wait, wait. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know. That's uh, Nolar's already sus. in the game, bro. <laughs> Couldn't take it much longer. He just had to get those mods. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I'll do, we'll just go through this a little bit. Um, I guess this is just a first impression. So you guys get to at least see a little bit of gameplay, understand like what it looks like from the beginning to now. Um, there will be an actual real first impressions. Like someone's going to play through either me, you know, Gail or someone else will play the first like, you know, three, four hours, or a couple days and let you guys know what our actual feelings are on it. And we'll talk about it and hopefully give you guys a, a quick i'm gonna say review because a review would mean like we played it for a long long time but just like you know how it shows up so uh with that said hydros anything else you want to mention about this before we close it out no it, it's really fun like i mean a lot of the stages do have like some difficulty to them it's not like you can just push the buttons and you're good to go right like because it does have like a con like a combat point system so where you know they have like you recommend this combat power level and then you can you should ha shouldn't have a difficult time but i was like 200 300 combat power above a recommended and still lost <laughs> so uh it is quite a challenging game um obviously as you know game progresses you get like 10 20 000 combat power these stages are going to seem like nothing later but when you're starting out it's it's difficult and it is fun and it is challenging i enjoy it Cool. Well, you guys let us know what your uh, thoughts are of the game if you guys played it. Um, if you have any questions or something about us, let us know in the comments down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new here and want to see more content like this here at 5.9 Mobile, go ahead and hit that sub button. And uh, with that said, uh, thanks a lot, guys. On behalf of me and Hydros, we're out. Hey.